I remember when this happened, I looked at my husband and I said, wow, you know, we lost our business, you know, we don't have the business anymore. Who's going to want to buy in Rockaway? And that's not the case at all. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Mary. Mary Dario. It's open house day here in the Rockaways. You got so big. This particular house, a four-bedder, was flooded after Hurricane Sandy. It's now selling for 10% less than before the storm. We're seeing a lot of young new buyers come in. Um, people that actually live in the area that weren't able to afford it before can now afford it because of the price decrease. And for first-time home buyers like Matthew and Jenny, that means opportunity. This neighborhood was kind of outpricing us, and now, you know, maybe there are um, more opportunities because of um, everything that's happened in the last six months. We're doing very well. We've actually closed on six homes post Sandy. We have a lot of houses where, you know, the owners are 90 years old, 92 years old. Can you imagine fixing up a house? I can't. Of course, with every bargain in the great Sandy sell-off, there's a loss on the other side of the fence. Leanne Petricone has lived in this, her family home, for decades. But recently widowed and facing extensive damage from Sandy, she just doesn't want to live here anymore. Well, water came through the door here, and water came through the front door. She's putting it on the market and preparing to take a big hit on the price. Whoever walks into the house loves the house. Hopefully, uh, I can have somebody come in and be fair and say, oh, look, we know this is, has to be done and that has to be done, and hopefully I can sell it and be on my merry way. And whatever is here is for sale. Now I think I'm being pushed to do it. Uh, it, it would be give me peace of mind and not have to worry. It's time somebody else took care of the garden. <laughs> We're standing in front of 125 Beach 128th Street, which is an oceanfront property. Why don't you come on in and take a look? Absolutely, it's a learning curve for me. I'm absolutely getting educated every single day. It took them a month just to get the sand out from the basement. We were a little more concerned. And you had the views from the window here, you had a door here, a pair of French over here. And what we do is we just try to figure out where they're zoned on the map, and then we take it from there, whether they're in an A zone, whether they're in an X zone. And the majority of the zone here is an A zone. We were asking 2.9, and now we're asking 2.4 million. So we're asking significantly less than what we were in contract on. If the storm was just isolated to Rockaway, I would understand the fear, but it wasn't isolated to Rockaway. This happened throughout all the five boroughs, um, and I think that's why people feel that this isn't going to happen again. This was the perfect storm. See, look at this. Look how great this is. Anytime you want, just come on the beach. We're here to stay, and um, you know, even myself might take the opportunity to find something and get something bigger or closer to the ocean. And that's what people do in Rockaway. <laughs>